Well, hello there everybody, and welcome back to my Minecraft Security Breach Map Tutorial Part 3. In this video, we will be building all of the decorations and details as seen behind me. Now, just to let you know that some of the pixel art you see in this build that we will be creating was originally created by Cup of Tea EXE. Originally, when I was making the entrance way before I even made these tutorial videos, I took his pixel art to help me. Now, since I'm building it in my tutorial video, all credit goes to him for making it and was not originally made by me but every other decoration and detail that you see in this video that we will be making was made by me and i will let you know what we did make and what we did not make but without wasting any more time let's continue building the entrance all right once again we are going to start at the entrance and we are going to make the four neon faces that are here first we are going to start with chicas now from these three blocks here you're going to go one two on the third block place two right there Grab your magenta concrete or magenta stained glass, place them right there, or actually use purple, no, use magenta, keep it magenta, place two yellow there, and then you want to go ahead and place three across the top, two lime, two up, kind of looking like that, two yellow there, and then you're going to place magenta, actually no, you're, you're going to place magenta there as well. Then from here, place one, two, three, four, and one, two on top, and get your magenta again. And actually, no, go ahead and grab your pink stained glass. Those are her eyes. And then magenta, just place two across the top like that. And actually, we can have that as pink. So it should look just like this. This is magenta. It should look just like this. Now grab your sea lanterns and go around the back where to the eyes are. Place two sea lanterns there. So it just kind of gives the eyes a glowing look. I know it's not in the actual game, but I just went ahead and added that anyway. And now grab your black concrete and just go around the back and like fill in this in the back where all of the glasses. So it kind of just gives it a, a different kind of look. Not really sure why, but I'll show you what it looks like. So it should, bam, it will look just like this. And now we are going to go ahead and do Freddy's. So once again, in the middle, you're going to go two up, you're going to grab your purple, go three across. Then with the orange, you're going to place two there, get your black stained glass, place two across, place one, two there, and grab your blue, you're going to go like this, actually wait, 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 hold on, my bad. You're going to place all the way across the top, grab your blue, and do that, place your light blue glass in the middle, Get your orange, place two on there, and the purple for a hat. It's not exactly like Glamrock Freddy, but it's close enough. And then once again, grab your sea lanterns. And your black concrete. And just fill all of this in. Just to outline where all of the glass is. And there we go. That is now Freddy's and Chica. So we're going to work on Monty's next. And now, so go ahead and grab your lime stained glass. Your lime stained glass, purple stained glass, red stained glass, and yellow. For the lime, you're going to place one block there. It's going two blocks up again. You're then going to place three, like that. Grab your purple, you're going to do one, two, three, and break these two on the sides. Grab your yellow for Monty's eyes. Two on the sides here, one there, and two on the top, and then two green there. And there we go, that is now Monty's. So we're going to go ahead and make Roxy's now. Alright, so now you're going to grab your black, purple, white, and lime stained glass. So we're going to start with the white, you're going to go two blocks up, place two there, and then going all the way across so it looks like that. Place one up there, grab your purple, place two, looking like that. Grab your black stained glass, two across there, then do this so it looks like that, and grab your black stained glass for the eyes. You're then going to grab your white, and you're going to go one, two, one, two, so it kind of looks like a Y. Grab your lime do that and then grab your white and go down looking like that so there is Roxy's and then grab your sea lanterns you're now going to go along the back if you did not do Monty's do that and then do Roxy's and then grab the black concrete and then outline all of this so there is then Roxy's and then do the same with Monty's over here And 
there we go. We now have the four logos here. I'm not going to make the... Actually, I actually, why not? Let's go ahead and add the come back soon sign. So I have not made this before, and it probably will be pretty simple. So I'm, I'm just going to place these randomly. You can follow along with me, but just, I'm just going to figure out some come back soon sign. So I'm going to actually use, I believe... I believe it is like a pinkish, so I'm going to use magenta. So just follow along with what I'm doing. It's fine if you can break some carpet. Okay, I, I, it's not very good, but it, you can't even make out what it says. It's just some random glass place blocks. Obviously, you, you're not really able going to see it, so it's perfectly fine. But we're just going to keep it like that anyway. Now, one thing you might have noticed is that this pixel art, for anyone who does know, this is from Cup of Tea EXE. This is his original pixel art. This was not created by me. I just wanted to let you know, so I am not taking this all for myself. I'm not taking credit for myself. This is Cup of Tea's pixel art, and he created this. I did not, unfortunately, because, well, I was not good at pixel art. But I've just taken that. So now let's go ahead and continue working on some of the stuff over here. Alright, so go ahead and grab your red concrete, white concrete, black concrete, and sea lanterns. We are, start, we are going to place these massive pillars that are both here, and we will then start working on the decorations on this side. So go to these, this very edge of these tiles. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the 6th block right here. So it should be right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the 6th block. We're then going to go out one. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. On the ninth block is where you want to place a concrete. And then go 1, 2, 3, adding down so it's 4. And then the same thing here. So it just lines up just like that. So it should just look just like this. And then bring this red concrete. This will go all the way to the very top right about one one it should be one block below so it should look just like this and then on the very top here you're going to place blocks going across like this so it should match up with everything down below and then fill in you're going to go ahead and fill in this red pillar here so it is going to go all the way to the top so we're gonna go well you'll fill the fill this in in just a second but we're gonna start working on the second pillar real quick so go to this the back of this pillar right here and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. On the 13th block right here, place 1 and then go 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So it should both ends right here line up directly with each other. A 12 block spacing here, and then on the 13th block you start. And then the same thing here, this is going to go all the way to the very top. And you're just going to do the exact same thing that we did on this side. This goes up to the top and then from here. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And it should look just like this as, as the exact same height with the roof and everything. It should look just like this. So go ahead and fill this in and I'll see you in just one second. Alright, there we go. We now have both pillars now filled in. So we're going to go ahead and place these neon signs that fully wrap around the edge of these pillars. I use sea lanterns, so it kind of makes the signs glow instead of using pixel art for me, so it's not as dark. So what we're going to go to do here, you're going to place one, two, two, three, four, five. It goes five blocks up, and you're just going to go ahead and place these all the way around. Same thing on this side. It should look just like this. And there you go, you now have that. And we're going to do that on the exact same thing here. Now, you do not have to add these neon signs if you want to. But um, if, if you do want to, then go ahead and do what I'm doing. But if you don't, you could go ahead and try to do the pixel art. I'm not going to go ahead and do that since I'm going to use this. Um, and currently, I do not have a reference image to show you guys how to do it. But I'm going to use sea lanterns as the neon signs. You don't have to if you don't want to, but that is what I'm going to do. And we now have the pillars, so we're going to head and go. We are going to go ahead and start working on the decorations now. All right, everyone. We are going to start with some of the wall art now. This now this was all created by me, so we're I'm going to try my best to replicate it here. So we this is the massive Roxy poster that we are going to do. So first, um, I'm just going to get the whole base here. So from we'll go from this edge, go one block, go up, and then two, and place one there going to go all the way across right there 
bring this up all the way up until it's two blocks and then bring it all the way across once again bring it down and there we have where this roxy poster is going to be now all of this is going to be filled in obviously it's not going to be just light blue we are going to have some other things here but for now we are going to keep this here All right, so there we go. Now we are going to try and, um, I'm going to try and recreate it. So, using your blue concrete, we are going to go, let's see, like one, two, three, maybe like right here, we'll place one block. We'll then go up two, place three like that. So this is gonna be like her, her like her legs. Like do, let's do that. Um, it's, gonna, it's gonna look kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. It's probably, oh no. It is gonna look kind of weird. I'm not gonna not gonna lie about that. So just kind of follow along with what I'm doing. This is like her guitar. This is like both of her legs kind of like swinging back. Um, well, I'd like that there as like one of her other arms. Her head can maybe like I don't know, maybe look like that. I mean, it's not the best, but that that will be like kind of the Roxy. Now, honestly, you can just follow along and, if you want to and just like place some random stuff around. Um, I'm, once again, um, I'm just placing random things. You do not have to. Um, get all of these, get all like a bunch of different types of colors. Maybe, try not, try your best not to put, like if you're using blue concrete, try your best not to put it exactly with the picture, otherwise it may kind of make it look a bit weird. Um, get your light blue concrete as well, put that in there in places make it look different kind of like that and then we'll like place some gla blue glazed terracotta just in in random places here um maybe like one there kind of, i don't know just to kind of spice it up all right so there we go it, um obviously it does not look the best here, get rid of some stuff. There we go. So this is now supposed to be the Roxy poster. When you see it, it's obviously not the best, but we're going to stick with that. And we're going to now go ahead and move on, and we're going to make the Monty poster now. All right, so we are now going to start on the Monty poster. So grab your green terracotta, green concrete, green wool, green glazed terracotta, and green concrete powder. We are now going to start outlining or outline where it's going to be. So from here, go one block on the edge and it's going to go all the way to there. So it skips these blocks here. And once again, it goes all the way two blocks away from the top, back going around to there, bring it all the way back down and fill this in, I'll be right back. All right, there we go. We now have all of this filled in. So grab your green terracotta. We are now going to start like placing in where Monty is like supposed to be. Um, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to look. Once again, I'm just placing random blocks. Uh, you know what? Let's get focusing on how his main body is going to look. Um, I'm going to be placing just random blocks all around the place once again. Um, uh, no. I know I don't have to exactly make it look like this, but I'm going to. Uh, sorry if I keep, like, Get, getting rid of stuff just, just experimenting because I don't exactly remember what it quite looked like um, yeah you can go ahead and follow along with what I am doing um, I'm also just placing some random stuff everywhere once again this is not the best this, this kind of suppo it's supposed to look like a gator I mean eh, eh, hey it's it's pixel art what, what I, I'm not really, I'm not the best with pixel art, like, not at all, in any way, shape, or form, I am not the best at pixel art, but it works for now, um, it looks okay, once again, it is not the best, and I'm just going to place just a bunch of random blocks everywhere, this is green concrete, so, um, it kind of looks a bit similar to green terracotta, and also I'm using green wall, so you can place that around in some places. Uh, 
and it just kind of kind of should look just a bit like this I mean it, it really is not the best at all um, I honestly don't really know remember how I made it but it just looks it looks something like that all right um, now we're gonna go ahead and start working on some uh, some wall pixel art here all right so you're gonna go ahead and grab all of these blocks that you see in my inventory now, first, we are going to start with some of the neon line lights. So grab your pink terracotta or pink, co pink concrete and go two blocks up on this block. Go all the way across. You can go all the way across to the very end. Go up one block with the light blue and place it all the way across to the very end. And then just fill this in with the stained, correct, correct stained glass on both of these. And it should look just like that. Now there is one thing I do want to mention real quick. So, one there was one person in my comments one the other day or a couple days ago, and he brought up a pretty good suggestion: is that for these neon lights right here, these light blue and pink neon lights that you see, he suggested that we that we should put sea lanterns instead. But here's what it would look like, and with the correct stained glass. Yes, it does kind of look a bit better, but to be honest, it's really hard to see the neon lights. I mean, honestly, if you guys want to do this, you guys can go ahead and do this. You can totally do this. I am going to keep it so it is just the pink, the pink concrete. Because, I mean, the sea lanterns, it does make it glow a lot more, but also since the sea lanterns are blue with the pink stained glass, it's kind of hard to see, even though we did do that for this. I'm just going to keep it like this, you guys do not have to, but that is what I am going to do. But you can keep it like that if you want to, and same for these here. But now we are going to continue on this here. So grab your core, your, or dirt, actually grab your chorus dirt, there's no really difference. So go one, two, three blocks out and place one, two, three, four, like that. Grab your trap doors and place two on the sides like that, leaving a two block gap. Grab your nether brick stairs, because this is one of the benches that you see throughout the game. And place dark oak leaves all across the top looking like that. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to grab blue terracotta, purple terracotta. We're going to grab purple wool and purple banners. And then go grab a crimson sign. And we are going to make this complimentary entry pass station. So here, you're going to go one, two, three blocks up here. You can get rid of this. Then with your purple terracotta, place one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three there. You can grab your sea lanterns actually real quick and place these all along the bottom. And then grab your blue terracotta. You want to place three along the back like that. And then with your purple terracotta, place one, two, one, two, one, two. So it looks like that. And then place your blue terracotta there. And then just grab your banners and place these along the sides like that. Then you can go ahead and grab your crimson sign. We are going to get yellow dye and glow ink sack. Now here you can just place two across here and place two along the back and then place two here. Right here you're going to do this and you're going to crouch and type complimentary and then entry pass. I think it says like free complimentary entry pass or something, but I'm just gonna write it as complimentary entry pass. Or I could write it as a free one free compliment complimentary entry pass. I'm just gonna keep it like that and you can go ahead and just place these up there, cause why not? And there we now have that in. Now we are going to add grab your arm you're gonna go ahead and grab your armor stands and place one, two, three, four. These are for the four like cardboard cutouts that I'm just going to use. And you can grab your netherite chest plate. You can grab your white chest plate. And go ahead and grab a two leather tunics. You can actually get rid of that one. So um, and I'll, actually, you know what? Just get all all leather tunics. Just keep your leather tunics. Get a crafting table. You can get. I think Roxy is gray, so we are going to stick with gray dye. So get gray dye, um, get lime dye for Monty. You can get white dye, but there are there's an iron chest plate. You don't have to do this. White dye and orange dye for Freddy. Now with the crafting table, you can go ahead and grab m multiple copies if you want. 
So the first one is going to be Freddy. So orange die. Um, I think Freddy is right. Like I think Freddy's right there. You can then do this. You can make Monty. I think Monty is there. And then Chica, I believe, is right here. And Roxy, last but not least, is in the corner there. Now, I'm going to use... I'm going to get heads, and I'm going to use these different types of heads. For some animatronics, I'm not going to. So this is going to be Freddy. This is going to be Mo Roxy. This is going to be Monty, and Chica is just going to be an iron, iron helmet, not even a head. So Freddy, Roxy... Oh god, it's blocking Freddy. Monty and Chica. It's pretty cursed. Honestly, I'm it. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. So Roxy is actually going to be... Roxy is just going to be a regular helmet. So you can grab your... Um, just grab a netherite helmet and just do that. And then so Chica, Monty, Freddy, Roxy. And it is just going to look like that. And you can now grab a chest... An anvil and a name tag. This is going to be the complimentary entry pass. So the anvil, put your name tag in there and rename it to entry. Oop, rename it to entry pass. Place the chest, which are these are these here are going to be the little gift boxes here. So that is what we are going to use there. And once again, grab your trap doors, coarse dirt, dark oak leaves, and red nether bricks. And just place this all the way along the back. So it should be actually get rid of one there. And then just place one, two, three, four, five. And then like right here, we'll place two here for the bench. And dark oak leaves across the top there. So now you have this little area here. So let's go ahead and make the pixel art that's right here. Alright, so now go ahead and grab all of these items that you see in my inventory, all right here. We're now going to make the guitar and guitar, or the guitar and guitar here. So what you're going to do, you're going to go right from here, you're going to go one block up, and do that. Same thing on the side, so it should look just like that. Now from here, go one block to the side right here, and place one. So this is going to be the star, you can go ahead and fill this in, and this here too. And then from here, you're going to go two blocks and go it look just like that. And it should be right there. Now we are going to make the guitar right here. So this is going to go one, two, three, four. This is going to go one, two. Black concrete. Go down like that. One there, two there. And then you go grab that. Two buttons there. So there's the guitar right there. And then you're going to grab your white concrete and go one, two, one, two, like that. Two buttons there. You're then going to grab your black, actually, your black concrete, one, two, three. Lime. You're then going to go one, two, three, then one, two. Oop. Looking, looking like that. Black concrete, three up, and this, one, two. Which is one button. And it looks like this. Now, once again, this is Cup of Tea EXE's pixel art. This was not created by me. This is all of Cup of Tea's. Like I said before, like over here, I was not good with pixel art, so that is why I took this. This, all, all credit goes to Cup of Tea for making all of this right here. But that is now that, and let's get moving on to some other details over here. Alright, so now you want to grab your black concrete because we are going to make this giant, like, black Freddy logo. So from this block in the corner, you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. On the fifth block, go up 1, place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 1, 2, 3. And it should end up just like that. Now we are going to draw the actual Freddy inside. So place two blocks here and four blocks going down like that. On this side, two here, four blocks going down like that. Now from here, you want to go up one and place three blocks. Then one there. And one like that. Then go up and place one, two. Then do this for the eyes. This for the hat. The ears there. And there you go. Once again, this is also Cup of Tea's pixel art. You're gonna see that just a, you're gonna see that a bit throughout this. This is one thing that I struggled on while building the original entrance. But this all goes to Cup of Tea once again. The same with that and his pixel art over there. 
So there we go. Now that is that. So we are going to actually start working on some of the floor decorations and all of the decorations all around. So right now, you can go ahead and grab your red nether brick stairs. We are just going to go ahead and place just benches around the place. Two there. We can place two here. And let's place some more over here. And we can actually, let's go ahead and grab um, some other things. So let's grab, uh, let's grab some corner dirt, trap doors, and dark oak leaves. Let's also grab, okay, so there is a vending machine here. First, let's just place this here. So place one here. We can place these trap doors all around it. So these are some of like the potted plants around. You can have it two blocks wide or you can have it one block high if you want to. Um, I'm going to have it two blocks wide because that is how I originally made it. So I'm going to keep it like that. And there is a vending machine here. So I'm just going to use what I did. I'm just going to use normal or packed ice. Um, just grab carpet. This is a, just a normal vending machine. Um, you can grab a dispenser. And a button. Any kind of button if you want to. And then just grab any kind. It doesn't have to matter because this is not a fizzy fast vending machine. So let's just go with like night vision. This is not an actual fizzy faz vending machine. You can do whatever you want. We'll place the dispenser there. Ice. The ice. The carpet. Um, we'll place the buttons. Uh, button on that side. We are going to need a item frame. So we will place the item frame there. Place that just to advertise it. And place these all inside. And you can uh, fill this up all the way if you want to. And there we now have that vending machine. So let's continue on some of the other stuff. So we're going to add make these trash cans now. So grab your brown terracotta, your lime terracotta, your white terracotta, and your purple, or where is it? I believe I use blue terracotta. Um, I'm going to use blue terracotta. You can grab your sign, a uh, merch sign, and black carpet. And we're going to make the trash cans. So Freddy, let's do um, Freddy, Monty, Chica, Roxy. We'll just do that. And carpet on top for like the hole where you like throw the trash into. And then just type trash on all of these. Now the Freddy trash can obviously is not brown and it's orange. I'm actually, I'm going to um, change that to orange. In my original map I used brown, but here I am going to use orange. We can do that. And you can go ahead and use orange, which that is what I'm going to use for this. So, so these are all the colored trash cans. And now, let's just add more stuff around. So again, we're going to add another planter over here. Let's grab the trap doors, the bushes. Let's add it like right there. And let's add a, there's a Chica trash can over here. So we're going to add that, and it is right there. There we go. We now have that and a couple other things. Let's add this um, planter in the middle. So grab your um, purple ter purple concrete and your dark oak leaves and your chorus dirt. It doesn't have, actually no. Let's just use regular grass. Regular grass. So from here, go one, two, three, four. On the fifth block, place one, and then place. One, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It should end up there, and it should start here, going five blocks out, and then one, two, three, and just going all the way back around. Fill this in with grass, and you can honestly just place any kind of leaves however you want to. This is just how I'm just gonna place them like that, and I'm just going to leave it just just as the purple concrete. So now let's add um, this little area here. So from, I, I don't exactly remember how I did it, so I'm just going to wing it. So, we'll go like, um, it's kind of like, it's a, like a circle, basically. So, we'll kind of just do this. So, um, we'll go like, start here, we'll go like one, two, three, four, five, maybe five out, same thing on this side. Um, maybe looking just like this. Uh, there's, um, a thing here. I don't, I don't exactly remember what it exactly looked like. Or what it exactly looked like. Um, I'm just gonna experiment with it. I think that is, it's fine. Um, 
And here, we'll just make it something like that, basically. Something small, <laughs> it does not look good at all. Alright, so now we're going to make the tables and chairs and the popcorn machine. So grab your red carpet, you can grab your bars, and grab your string. So red carpet, bars, and string, um, I believe this is what we're going to use. You can then grab your, um, you can grab your black concrete and red concrete, then grab your, let's see, grab your glass, your item frame, an item frame, uh, keep the red carpet, we have the string, we have all that, grab a flower pot, so right here, we're gonna place, like, the, place the thing, like, right here, um, string there, we'll place the carpet on top, like that, actually, no, 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 we'll place the flower pot there, then the carpet on top of it, so right, on. there we go, and then have this here, these are going to be like the wheels. Um, so there we go, this is our little popcorn machine. And I just, I just kept it like that. I believe I actually added signs. So we are going to go ahead and add crimson signs. I don't think it's actually there. But I'm just going to go ahead and add these all the way around. Looking like that. So there's our little popcorn machine. Now we are going to make the actual tables. Oh wait, I just got rid of the bars, okay. My bad. So re-grab your bars your carpet, and your string, is all we're going to need. So let's have the table like right here, and we'll add the bars, two more up, we can add the carpet here, as the actual like table. You can grab a slab, I'm going to grab red netherite, or red nether brick. These are the seats that you sit up at the table. Then you can place this going up, and you can place the string going all the way around and all of the carpet on top of it. So there we go, we have this little table right here. Obviously you're not gonna see the string, but this is what it looks like. And now we're gonna do this exact same thing on this side now. Now we're just gonna repeat that same thing. Just do this. Two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. I don't know, I'm just doing something random. Once again, don't, I don't exactly remember what it looked like. Uh, we'll do something like that. Maybe have this going out. Like, like that, and then here. Um, maybe something like that, a bit bigger. We'll have it like that, kind of. Maybe one there. And now we're just gonna kind of do the exact same thing. So here, let's have the table... Like right here. And then we'll add this going two more up. Here are the actual tables. The seating all the way around. And then the string that we are going to place. Bam. And now just have this on the top. And there you go. We have another little table. And then let's just repeat this with the... Um, with the actual uh, popcorn booth. So let's just add it right here. So this is where I'm going to have it. So just uh, do the exact same thing we did over there. Bam, bam, and there we go. So we have now this side, this little side decorated. Let's go ahead and grab these again. Let's place some more seating, like uh, one here. We'll place one here, like right on the edge, because here, you can go ahead and grab your slabs, your smooth stone slabs, and your chest, and we are just going to place, like, just blocks, uh, like that, and we are going to add, um, some chests that just look like this, so it's like just a small storage unit or something, so there, we now have that. Now, normally, there is a staff bot cleaner here. I did not any add anything here before, but I think... Oh, and there is a save station. So we can grab a painting, a sign, right here. Place it, like, right there. And uh, uh, we do not have enough room, so we can just do that. Save your spot. Grab your pink 
your pink dye and your glowing sack and light that up. So there we go, we now have another a save your spot station. And normally there is a staff bot here, so I'm I'm not gonna add it, but I think I'm just gonna add like the water of what it is. So let's just grab like um light blue and yellow and a sign. Um, I don't think I can, uh, I'll try and make a pat pat or, or, um, or one of those, uh, staff, staff cleaner things. I'll just make a normal, like, just some sort of puddle. Um, yeah, uh, I'll add a wet floor sign, so, caution, wet floor. Um, I want to try and make eyes, uh, so let's get some string. And we, if we're able to, I'm not sure if we are. Uh, let me grab a slab real quick. Just, just experimenting, just experimenting. Uh, we can, so if I grab a sign, I could do this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, okay, those are supposed to like be the eyes, but we're just gonna keep it just like this for now, all right? We're, we are just gonna keep it like that. Um, we'll stick with that for now, and that is a lot of this over here done. I think there may be a couple more things real quick, but um, then we'll move on to this side. So let's go ahead and add some stuff here. So we are going to add these gates. So go ahead and grab your smooth quartz, and your you can actually grab your um, polished andesite slabs, and then grab your fence gates. We are going to use crimson fences. So here you're going to place one, we're going to have a two block gap, one, two, one, three, two, one, one, and honestly, hold on, hold on, hold on, one, 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 experimenting, just experimenting, uh, two there, two there, and like, yeah, like that, like that, then we can place these on the top, and the fence gates right there, so now we have that, so this little entrance area right here. Now let's add some lighting, so let's grab the end rods here, um, I'm not, I think there are these here, and just place them all, just place them around, you don't have to get them exactly. Um, in these areas, so there it will look kind of like this, it kind of lights this whole area up here. Now let's add like some lights and details down in here, so you can grab your sea lanterns, I believe, I think there are TVs here, not 100% sure, but we're going to add these two TVs, I use sea lanterns as the TVs, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I know there is a, um, like a bush here, so we are going to go ahead and add that in the corner. Like that, and there is a neon sign here, if there, we do have room. Um, what I, what I originally used, I used, here, I'll show you what I used. So we can grab this, this, we can grab a sign, and a painting. So what I originally used, I did a four block wide, two sea lanterns there, going up like that. Ah. I then had two signs on the sides, and a painting. It was just and th yeah, it was like that. This is what it looked like originally. I think I'm just going to keep it because uh, this is what I used in my original map, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Um, so let's add the lights here. So we can grab your, let's see, uh, your stone brick stairs and your sea lanterns. So we are going to add a light right here. Just add your stairs around it. Looking like that. One over here, we'll add one here. Right there, and one more, like, right here. So there we go, we now have lighting under here, so it looks just like this. Um, yeah, I, I had, there's a light here, you can, uh, just place these here, make sure you can make it look like that. And that is now, I believe, like, this whole side over here all done. Now let's actually go ahead and add this sign right here, actually, hold on. Let's decorate some, uh, quick, some quick stuff here. First of all, I forgot about this in the last episode. We forgot to add this. So let's just go ahead and add it right now. So grab your white and black concrete, and we are going to go ahead and place this. Or actually, this, I believe, goes up one more block. You're not going to see it because there's going to be a roof. But we can add 
actually, you can, we can add it just right there, because there's going to be a roof above this, which we'll add right now. And then just make this part right here. So actually, oh, wait, hold on. So it is one block up. And just do this, and there we go. We now have this whole area here. There are no stairs, so that is fine. We can now grab the door. We are going to have a door right there. So there we go. We can actually keep this door. We can grab our carpet. Let's grab our black carpet. Our skull, uh, wither skulls. Place the black carpet all the way across the top. And we can add our wither skulls right here. These are just supposed to look like they're screens. Um, I believe there are three chairs, so let's get rid of those. We'll have a chair, chair, and chair. So, skull, skull, skull. And add the doors behind it, just to, you know, make it look like chairs. Um, grab our trap doors one more time. In, in my original map, I just had trap doors just here. I don't know why, just it, so it kind of blocks off the sea lantern. So, I'm just going to keep it like that. And we now have this entrance area here. With this, yeah. We got all this here. Now, let's go ahead and add this sign real quick. Alright, so grab your blue, magenta, and yellow stained glass. We're going to start with this, um, come back soon sign here. So place one, two, three, four. And we can honestly, we can get rid of that there. You can still have that curving. Actually, have it stop there. Because here, we're going to place one, two, one, two. And actually, it goes up three. So place it, place it three up. And place your magenta stained glass on top of that blue. Go ahead and get rid of it. And grab your lime. Uh, grab your orange, light blue, black, white, pink, gray, um, we will need yellow, uh, for now just get these colors, so here we are going to start making the pixel art, so one there, this is going to be Monty, oh wait, we need red too, like that, then grab, um, place light blue, place orange, 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 you can place red, a black, then place one orange up there. You can then place two white, a pink. Uh, below here, you can place probably you, uh, you can place one red. Then place gray, gray. You can then get lime, and uh, I believe you can place red. Actually, no. Place. Let's see. No. Get rid of that. Place red there. Uh, um. Let's have white there and then red there. So there we have that. Now we can get rid of all of this. Grab your um, magenta and blue. From here, place two blue up. Place one blue there, all the way across the top. And then magenta, all the way there. So there we go, we now have this. Now again, this is also from Cup of Tea EXE. He created this pixel art, not me. I know there's a lot of pixel art around here, like this, 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 and this. That was all created by Cup of Tea, but everything else was by me. This was all, uh, like I said, it was because I, I have struggled with um, pixel art in the past. But that is, oops, that. But yeah, that is Cup of Tea's. So, let's move on down here. Let's go ahead and add the roof in here. Let's, let's decorate this area now. So go ahead and grab your chiseled quartz, like in the last um, other office over there, and just place this going all the way across the top. There we go. And we now have the roof on here. We can now, it is definitely dark, so we can start decorating. But let's grab this door, and we can place a door right there. Right there. There we go. Now first, let's just add a couple things here. So grab your yellow. We can grab our red. Red terracotta. And our green terracotta. Grab an item frame. Um, we can grab a sign. Light, uh, gray carpet. And glass panes. And then we can also grab our red nether brick stairs. So here, we are going to place one, two, and then one there. These are going to be the ATMs. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Move this back by one. One, two. We can then have one here. This in the middle. We can add the carpet on top. 
the item frames will be here with the glass. And then ATM. You can just say that. And then ATM. Same thing here. Oops, wrong place. ATM. So there we now have this little thing right here. And now let's go ahead and start working on the inside of this office right here. Okay, so real quick, there's a couple details that I forgot to add here. Grab your warped trap doors. We're going to place like um, these little lines that you line up to get the tickets. So here, let's just place one, two, three, like right there, so it's two blocks out. Here, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. There should be one, two, three, four, five sets of the trap doors where you can walk up to the different lines. And then just right back here, you can go ahead and place all the way across, just like that. So it should look just like this. And now let's actually add a couple more plants that we have not that we did not add. So over here, there are a couple plants over here. So we can add one right here and right here. And then just place your trap doors all around. And I'm just gonna raise them too high. And actually, to be honest, okay. So I think I should have it at least like one block below. I think one block below is probably best. But I'm gonna keep it two. You guys can have it as one block, but I'm going to keep it as two blocks. I'm not really sure why, that is just how I originally did that. But there we go, we now have that. So let's go ahead and work on this back little room back here. It definitely is dark, so let's go ahead and grab our sea lanterns and our iron trap doors and add in these lights. So let's add two lights, um, let's add a light right here and a light right here. So there we go, it is now a bit more lit up. And actually, since we have these lights up there, I'm just going to get rid of this carpet. I think um, it would look best without the carpet, since I was originally going to add sea lanterns in the ground. But I'm just going to go ahead and have the lights in the roof. I don't know why I had the sea lanterns in the ground before. But now we have this, so let's add the decorations. So there are different colored lockers here, like in the, um, that we did in the in the um customer service area so you have your yellow concrete orange and light blue concrete and we're just going to place these randomly just just like like that and then grab like your item grab your item frames and your gray carpet you can place all of these here um we can't have those there so let's move these back by one fix that and right there so there we have those two lights we can place item frames there and just have all these carpets just facing sideways as like they're as if they're lockers and then here there are three going up this way and let's move this light one back as well so we have room so it should look like that so we can add these item frames here and there we go we now have those so let's add in some other, uh, other tables so i'm going to grab my bars and my gray carpet. There is a table here that we can have like right here. We also will need string. So we'll have this here. There is a vacuum cleaner here. I have not made this before, so I'm just gonna go for it. So we'll have the fence and we'll keep the bar. So we'll like do that and uh, maybe that and that as like a vacuum cleaner. Um, uh, what else is here? There's another table here. So grab this, place it like right here. We can have it probably right here. Once again, this is not like accurate to the one in game. Th this is just one that I originally created. It is not accurate to in game, but I'm trying my best to do that. And we can actually grab another potion and grab your potion of healing. As this is what I'm going to use as uh, Fizzy Faz Chica. So grab your anvil and you can rename this to Fizzy Faz Chica. Oh. Busy with a double Y. Oh, oh, great. Busy Faz Chica. There we go. And place that in there. We now have Busy Faz Chica. So we have that in. I believe that is probably everything that is in this room. And that is that now decorated. So we are going to go ahead and move on to this side now. Start decorating this. This is already decorated. We are now going to decorate this all on this side. Alright, so now we're going to do this side here now. So. Go ahead and go from here and go one, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth block here, 
um, go out one, and then from this box, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And on the eighth block, you want to place one there, and go down by three, and just line it up just like that. And then from here, you want to go from here, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. On the seventeenth block here, place one, and go up by three, so it should look just like that. Now from here, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. On the seventh block, place one, then go all the way until it lines up right there. And then just go back by three more, and it's just this exact same thing here. So once you have done that, raise these two pillars up all the way to the very top, just like we did on the other side. We go all the way to the very top, and place two blocks, and just place these blocks all the way across the top. So you can fill this one in, and then just do the exact same thing on this. This goes all the way to the very top right there and have these as the concrete so there you now have this so fill this in and this in and i'll be right back so let's go ahead and grab our grass blocks and our dark oak leaves we're just going to fill this in right here once again just um in random random like bushes ah. does not have to be exactly like this but this is just how i'm going to do it Maybe something like that. Just have it kind of have it just just have it kind of random. Um, let's go ahead and add the sea lanterns on the pillars after you have filled all of these in. Three, one, two, three, four, five. So it should be five, like on just on that side. So five on this side, five on this side. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. All right. All right, there you go. So now let's go ahead and do some of the pixel art here. This Freddy logo pixel art. So grab your grab your red nether bricks. Grab your red concrete. Your red terracotta. Red wool, and your red concrete powder. So we are going to start right about. Well, first, let's just get it outlined. So this is it's going to come all the way across here, and it's going to stop right there. Once again, it's going to go all the way up and stop two blocks from the top. And it's going to come back down to this. So go ahead, fill this in, and I'll be right back. All right, there, there we go. We now have that filled in. So we're going to go ahead and start putting in, like, the actual Freddy thing. So I'm just going to start just going around and placing the bricks to try and make it look like it is Freddy. Um, so these are going to be his, his legs down here. We'll have his body come up like one, one, two, three. Um, maybe do something like that. Um, have it come across there. That'll be like his arm. So there's his arm and then his head. We'll have it come up like one more across like two there. One, one. Um, yeah, kind, kind of like that. Um, yeah, I think that you can kind of, you can kind of tell that it is Freddy. Like that's where his, his hand is, like holding his microphone, his hand, legs, and head. That kind of kind of looks like him. So now we're just gonna go ahead and add um random like just random blocks around the place. Once again, it does not have to be actually like how I do it. I'm just placing these just around. Um, also, let's grab our uh, red glazed terracotta. Let's just place these in some areas as well. One there. There's like one there, one there, uh, maybe one there, and one there. Our red wool, we can place these around the place as well. And our red concrete, we can also place these. I think, I think this looks pretty good. I think this probably, you can definitely see that this is a Freddy poster. So we're going to keep that. Um, let's also grab our red brick stairs. We can go ahead and pl place these uh, benches again. We'll place one there. One right here. Like that. And let's actually now go ahead and make the Chica one over here. So grab, 
So we're gonna go ahead and grab our pink. So uh, pink concrete, pink terracotta, pink concrete powder, pink wool. Um, let's see, what else? We can grab this, have a couple of these around, and we'll stick with this for now. So let's start down right here. Have this come all the way across and end like right there. Um, it may not be the exact same length as the Freddy poster, but that is fine. Have this go up two blocks away from the top. Have this go all the way down. And have this there, and then fill this in, and I'll see you in just one second. Alright, there we go, we now have that filled in, so now we're just gonna start kind of outlining where Chica goes. So, I'm not, once again, I'm just kind of going for it. I'm not actually quite sure how this is going to exactly look. Um, no, let's see where that. So we'll have her leg like right about here, like that. Actually, uh, keep that. Then go across. Wait, so it's already across. Um, sorry, I'm just testing out. Let's go down two, across one, like that. Um, we'll bring this up by one. Have this come across. Two, three, maybe one, two, or have to come across like like that. Or you know what? Let's let's extend this by one more. Just one more. So we'll do that. Let's see. There we go. Something like that. We'll have um this kind of come up like that. This kind of go across as her like shoulder pad. Um kind of her hand like playing on the guitar her neck you can do this I don't know, something like that uh, this, that's, that's a long arm let's get rid of that, so it kind of looks like that not really sure what I mean, it's supposed to look like Chica I, I just kind of went for it and we'll just also just go ahead and place a couple more of these just around the place And then we'll just place some more, some wool. And glazed terracotta, we'll have like one there, one like right there, we'll have one, one. I mean, th these aren't really hard to see, so we're all fine there. Fine there. Um, magenta, let's, no, let's, let's stick with this. I think this is probably really good. Um, or you know what? Whatever, um, no, let's just stick with that. I think this is probably a good Chica. Like, like I, I think I think it's okay. It's, once again, it's not the best, but it works, and that is all that matters. All right, I think we're gonna stick with that. So that is now the Chica, and let's go ahead and add more of these. One there, one there. We'll add one here, one here. And let's add another bush. So grab our chorus dirt, our trap doors, and our dark oak leaves. We'll have it like right there. And then have just the trap doors going around it again. There we go. And I think we'll have I'll think we'll keep it like that. So let's move on with some more. Let's have, let's move on with this logo here. Alright, so now let's start making the Freddy logo. So go to this bottom block and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. On the 10th block, go up 1 and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And do the exact same thing we did on that side. So go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. So it just should look like this. And then we're just going to go ahead and add the actual Freddy logo, the actual Freddy, Freddy, Freddy face inside. So just do the exact same thing that we did over on the other side. And there we go, we now have that side in. Once again, this is also a cup of cheese pixel art. So there we go, we now have that, and let's just, add, let's just start adding some more stuff. So let's grab our blue terracotta again, let's add this area over here. 
So from here, we're going to do the exact same thing I did on that side. Go from there, then one, two, three, four, five. Let's go five. One, two, three, four, five. If I have to come out, we'll have this go uh, like up one more. And then just fill this in. Just like that. And then we'll have this come out. So like one, like maybe do this. Do something like that. Not, I'm not really sure. Uh, that actually just looks terrible. Um, maybe something like that, maybe? I don't know. It's, it's something. Yeah, we'll stick, stick with that. And then on this side, like one, the, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. Something like that. And then let's grab our, same thing, let's make, grab our bars. Red carpet. String. Our, our red nether bricks there, our red nether brick slabs, um, black and red concrete. We're going to need our item frames. We need our glass. We already have the carpet and we just need a sign. We will need a flower pot, we'll get that. So here, let's place the table like right here. Then go one, two, three blocks, or no, we'll have it there place these for the actual tables on the sides Oop. and then the chairs right here then just go ahead you can place one carpet there and just place your string going all the way around and there we go we now have another little table so let's add the popcorn machine which will be right here item frames on this side same thing there our glass, string, actually no, not string, we'll have a flower pot there, so let me grab that right now. Flower pot, and our carpet on top, and then just place these signs all the way around. There we go, it should look just like that, and let's do the same thing on this side. So grab our blue terracotta, do the exact same thing, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and go up, up one more down like this and now we have it look like this so let's just do the exact same thing we did on that that other side there uh no let's get rid of that something like this maybe there we'll stick with that this we don't have enough room so let's just go to the side or honestly Let's have to come down, like right here. I don't know, something like that. Looks a bit cursed, but it's fine. And let's do the exact same thing. So let's grab our bars. We'll have the table, like we'll have the table, like right here. One, two. Add the actual tables, the seating, carpet on top, and then the string going all the way around. Alright, there we go, we now have that table, and we'll add the popcorn station right here. Alright, there we go, we now have the, both of those things in. So let's go ahead and add this little storage thing that we did on the other side. So grab our slabs and our chest. We're just going to do the exact same thing. So like something just kind of like this. And then grab our, with our chest, we'll place one there. Uh, one and like one, one, two, like that. Maybe out like that. So it should look just like that. Um, let's see. I know there's a couple other things. So uh, let's start on this stuff over here. So let's grab this. We're gonna make a couple other bushes. We'll have one here. Going two up. Going two up like that. Uh, let's see. Nothing else is actually over here. Uh, let's start doing some of these posters right here. All right. So go ahead and grab all of these colors of concrete. You are going to need this to make these two posters. So from here, you're going to go two blocks upward and place one, two, three like that. Place two yellow on the bottom and place one, two, one, 
one blue on top, you're going to place two yellow like that, a red right there, a light blue there, and two green concrete, just like that. So this is the Kids Cove poster. This was also by Cup of Tea, just to let you know. This was not by me. A lot of things are not by me. A lot of pixel art are not by me here. Everything else is, though. I mean, these these posters here, they were all by me. And then here, just place one, two, three, four, going up one. Place one, one, two, right there. You then want to place get your green and do that. Place two lime across the top. And actually grab your pink concrete and place two right there. So that is the Monty Golf poster. And there we go. We now have that. And we can go ahead and place another bush right let's place it here and just have these going around and a couple other um bushes we'll place one here like that oh wait two um we'll actually here let's have these doors because we don't want it we don't want to see this so we'll just go around here place two right there there we go we now have those doors and then just go on this side we can place one right there Now just grab your red nether brick stairs, and we're going to place two of these there and here. Alright, so here we go. Let's also grab our, let's now grab our pink, light blue concrete, our light blue glass, and pink glass. We are now going to go one block above, we're going to place pink all along the bottom here. And our light blue going one block above. Then just grab our glass and we'll place this all the way across the top. And our light blue going all the way across the top there. And there we go, we now have that. So let's add some of this pixel art. So go ahead and grab your light blue concrete. We're going to need white concrete. We're going to need black pink concrete. We're going to need buttons. Um, let's see, we will also need, um, red concrete, and that is it. So, we're going to start here. Go one block above and place two like that. You then want to place a plus sign in the middle like that. Two on the bottom there, two on the sides like that. Place two going upward, and three pink like that, and then just three buttons. This is the one, <laughs> I keep saying this over and over again, but this is Cup of Tea's, and this microphone we're about to make is also from Cup of Tea. I don't think I really should be taking all of Cup a lot of Cup of Tea's items and making it and putting it into my tutorial video. This is all from him. Um, I don't know if he will allow it or not, but I'm just going to continue doing it. So go three blocks out and place two blocks there. Place one block here and one block there. Two blocks upward, two to the side, and one right there. Now from here, place one block there. You can place a white, white, black, black like that, right on top and two black just like that so we now have the freddy microphone as well so now we can actually get rid of all of that and i believe that this is all over here all decorated uh once again i think honestly we could probably you know what why not let's just decorate this area right here now um we can grab our doors once again we can place them right there there are no lights in here so there is no need to add any lights so here let's grab our um nether brick wall and our gray carpet, we're going to need this here. Let's also um, grab our blue concrete. Let's grab a warped fence. Let's grab an item frame and a polished, um, polished blackstone button. We are going to do three blue blocks like this. We also, we are going to need black concrete, so place two black concrete there. Item frames with the buttons in the middle. And then the warped fence on the side. So this is supposed to be one of those little like lift things that I have had. So we'll have that there and we'll actually continue adding some of the walls. So we can go two blocks up. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and like that. We can probably add one on the top just, just to look like that. Um, one, two, um, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One on the top there and one wall there. We can then grab our chests and place like just a couple other random chests just in the area just kind of looking like that um there's a high voltage thing so we can grab our polished end in sight our what's it called lightning rod and a sign we will need red dye and a glowing sack here so we can place this like right here it is pretty crammed right here the two signs saying high 
uh, wait, voltage, and then high voltage, voltage, there we go. Make, make them glow red and place the, um, lightning rods on top, just to make it look like that. And we can honestly, just to add for more detail on it, grab our item frames and our gray carpet. We can make it look like there's, like, candles here, so one, two, we'll have them all face... Oh, hold on. We'll have them all face that direction. So it kind of looks like they're handles. So we now, it is a pretty cramped area here, which that, that's fine, that's fine. And actually, let's grab our chest. We're also going to need. And let's grab our, let's see, let's grab our egg. We're going to have a Chica Pinata. So let's get, let's see, which one should we use? I think, I, I'm going to use the Axolot, Axolotl as the Chica. Let's grab a Anvil and rename it to... Chica Pinata. Uh, I don't have that one hyphen thing that goes over one of the A's, which is fine. So there we go. A Chica Pinata in that chest. And actually... Wait, no. Get rid of this. This is actually not there. We'll have it like this. But there is a um, little table. We can probably... I think it's like only two wide. So we can just do that as like a little table. Looking like that, that's there. Uh, there is more shelving on this side, so grab your carpet and your walls again. Come on to this side, going two up, one, two, three, two up, one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, two up, one, two, three. Have this going all the way across. Same thing here. And there we go. We now have this here on this side, so let's continue down over here. There's basically no actual decorations down here, but there is one thing, and there is a hideout. So this is how I make it. I have gray concrete, I get bars, I get a spruce trap door, a dark oak sign, and I believe it is... Where is it? It's polished deep plate slab. So starting like right here, I go two blocks out. So the, normally you are able to hide out in these things, and I like to make it actually hideable. So right here, just type hide, and grab a glow ink sack, and just make that glow. So we have that, we can grab our bars, place these on both sides here. And here, we are going to make this go down a bit, so we can fix this, and we can honestly replace that, so it looks just like that. And the trap door will sit right there, or let's see, where should it sit? Actually, hold on. Cover off the light. We'll have it like that, and the trap door will be right there. So when you go in, you can now hide. It, even though it is pretty visible, so maybe we'll have it like right there. So when you go in, this is probably the best hiding spot. But yeah, I, I say we keep it just like that, right there. So that is the hideout right there. And then there is a save your spot here. So grab your painting, your crimson sign, your paint. Oh, or pink dye and glowing sack. We're going to have it right here. Uh, sign up above, save your spot. There we go, make that glow. And there we go, there's obviously nothing over here. Eventually we'll add this small security office there, but for now we'll just leave it just like that. And honestly, just for now, I'm going to go ahead and behind it, I'm just going to place black concrete, so right now none of the light actually goes through. And honestly, we'll place it right there too, and the glass there. So just that way it's kind of covered off, just for right now. We will get to that eventually though. And there we go, that is now this area back here decorated. It's a pretty small area, there's not a lot going on here. But that is that, and that is also this whole area here all decorated. That is now this side and this side, and this whole entrance area, actually. One thing we are missing, a couple things we're missing, actually. These bushes over here, we'll have one there, and one there. We'll get these trap doors in. Trap door here, there, there, there. Two bushes up, so we have that. And let's get, let's just get these, this stuff in here. So let's grab our crimson door, we can go ahead and place those right there. Uh, actually keep this, let's grab our slabs, our carpet, and our wither skeleton skulls. So let's just place this all the way atop, we will have one there, there, and there. Slab, 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 door, door, door. 
there we go. We got that area. We will do this little back area, and we will do um, this back room area soon. We'll get there. And let's get this sign in here. So let's go ahead and go over here. Um, get these this stain the this stained glass right here. I think it's like so one two. All right. So same thing. Go out two one two three four. We'll have three yellow going upward, three yellow going upward, magenta all the way across. Let's see. Grab our, this is obviously, it's not going to be the exact same on that side, so that's fine. So grab our lime concrete, yellow concrete, red concrete, orange concrete, light blue concrete, black concrete, white concrete, pink concrete, gray concrete, and that, that is all we are going to need. So let's start here. Lime, yellow, red. We will need orange, light blue, uh, another orange there with red, black. Then let's put, let's see, what's it like over there? Just mirroring the exact same thing. Bam, bam, we'll have, I think there's a red there. Red, there is two white up here, pink there. Gray, gray, white, lime. So there we go, that is all of that. And now just grab your blue glass, place two going upward here, one there, this all the way across the top, and this magenta concrete, just like that. Once again, this is all, this is from Cup of Tea EXE, so just, just gonna say that again. And now I think we can call this side and this side, along with that little room back there, all full out decorated. So now we are gonna go ahead and get started on this main area here. Alright, so one thing before we do this, we just need to add the trap doors on this side. So once again, starting from here, go one, two, three. Then it's then it is whoops, then it is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Ending right there. So there should be one, two, three, four, five, six rows. And then just one in the back, just place all the way across, looking just like that. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and work on these gates here. So please Right here, go place two. Oh, go out one, place two blocks, space two, space two, and then so two block spaces, and then two blocks every time, and it should hopefully line up perfectly there. Then just place the gates going all the way across, and then these slabs right on top of these smooth fourth blocks. So there we go, and now we can start making the golden statue. So grab your stone brick slabs, you can grab your, actually, get your smooth stone, then, then grab your, let's see, your stone brick stairs, your sea lanterns, your gold block, and your oak slab, or, pe oh, not petrified oak, your oak slab, and your regular skeleton skull. This is what you need to make the statue. So from here, we are going to go two blocks out. So right here, go to the very corner and go one, two. Go up one, right here. Place a block that is at least not not that high. One block low here, okay. So go two blocks out, go one upward, go one more, and then go, actually no, one, two, three. Then go on the fourth block, go one and then two. Place a block right there. Then here you can place one upward and place one across. Then just get rid of that so it looks like this. And it should end up just looking kind of like this. So one, two, and then like this is supposed to be one block upward. So from here, this will go all the way across to there. So it's also two blocks. This will go all the way back until it is one block away. And then this goes all the way around. And it should just connect up right there. Here you can just bring this all the way across. So it looks just like this, then grab your smooth stone, and place it all in the center right here. And then with your sea lanterns, just place sea lanterns so it looks just like that. On top of that, you can place actually sea lanterns in the middle here. Grab your stone brick stairs, and actually place them all in the corner. You can place them going all the way around. Just look, looking like that, and then one extra layer of slabs around the outside. And in the middle here too. So there we go, we now have the actual stand for where the statue is going to sit. So you can go ahead and grab your water, and 
replace all of the water. Just uh, make sure that does not happen too. Um, easy way to fix that. Let's see. There we go. Just make sure it sits like right where the slab is. You can place one on the slab. Like that. Um, any like problems like that, you can just go ahead and fix that. And make sure it is fully filled in the center as well. So it should just look like this, all filled with water now. Add the skeleton skulls on both corners as the spotlights. And now for the actual statue. So here we're going to place one slab. And actually just have one slab and then place one slab there. It's going to be a bit out of, like, it's not going to be perfectly even. That's one thing I realized when I was originally building this, which is fine. So here go one, two, three blocks up, one block back. From here go one, two, three, four blocks up and connect it to look just like this. You can add one slab, slab there as like a knee. One block going up, place one, two blocks like this. Two blocks outward, then place go one, two, three blocks down. And a slab right there, so it looks just like this. Then go from here, place one, two, out. Actually, yeah, go one, two, then out, one, two. So it'll look just like this. I think this is probably what it looks like. And here we're gonna make the head. So go one, just go out so it looks like this. Two on the back here. One block on the back. The ears, like that. One slab like that for the nose. And actually, I realize this is supposed to be one block higher. I do not believe it looks like that. So go one, actually. Alright, so actually right here, we are going to place oak slabs under it, just to kind of give it, uh, like, so it kind of just looks like that. Then we'll add the, the nose there, the hat in the back, ears on the side, and there we go, we now have the head. Now here, we are going to go, let's see, one block up, and have it look just like this. We are then going to go one, two, three, four, and five blocks downward and place oak slabs going under and there as well place one there uh, one there actually skip that there and then the oak slabs going down there so it looks it should end up looking just like this so we now have our gold statue in place so now we're going to add some of the details going around it so grab your red wool grab your item frame you can grab your glass panes and your crimson fence gate here, we are going to place one here, so, and we'll have the handle there, item frames all around, and the glass right there. There's another one on this side, like right here, on the fence gate there, item frames all the way around, and glass there. So there we go, we now have that, and let's add some of the ATMs here. So grab our yellow terracotta, we can grab our lime terracotta, and red terracotta. There is a yellow and lime there. There is, I believe there's an ATM, like right there, and I think one more, which is, I believe purple, which is Roxy, right there. So now we can grab our carpet, our item frame, our glass, and our birch sign. Item frames all along there with the glass, oops, with the glass inside. The sign that says ATM. ATM. Same thing here. ATM. M. And ATM. And then just have the carpet on top of that. So there, we now have that. We will do some of the extra. Um, we will do the customer service eventually when we get there. And let's actually let's go ahead and do um, this area right here. So we are going to add the details here. So you can grab your orange terracotta. You can grab your gray concrete. Your we are going to make another hideout station. So grab uh, the exact same thing that we used um, for the other hideout. You can, uh, our polished deep slate. Um, what else did we use? We used a trapdoor. So there's a couple of these around here. So we'll have like two there, um, two here. There are fences. We can use our nether brick fence. Like two there. It's supposed to be like a construction area. The hideout will be right here, so we'll have the hideout here. Well, you can type hide right there. Grab our glow ink sack. Make that glow. Design there. Two of the bars, two of the bars. The slab's already there, if we can bring that down. Oh, come on. And our 
slab there, and our trap door right there, so we now have another little hiding spot. So there we go, we now have that in place, so let's go ahead and make this elevator right here. Alright, so go ahead and grab your polished and in sight, or, or your, I mean, sorry, your black stained glass panes, your polished and in sight, stone, calcite, polished diorite, stone brick wall, and sea lanterns. We are going to make the elevator that leads up into the prize counter up there. Um, so here, you're going to place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then you're going to place 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. Build this all in here, and 1, 2, 3, 4, going upward like that, and the polished and sight right, well, polished diorite right there. The glass will go around like this, and this goes up to the top here, because we will have the stone going up here as the roof. There we go. And now just add all of the all, all of this glass in. Alright, there we go. We now have the glass, so we'll add the light that is inside the elevator right there. And now this actually goes up two blocks so this is actually two blocks and this goes we can actually grab our um there is uh powder or uh whatever you use here there so we can do that and bring this up all the way to the very top lining up just with that roof there and place these sea lanterns on the top there do the exact same thing here this is also two blocks going all the way upward to the very top and sea lanterns on the very top. Then with the stone brick wall, place this going all the way up to the very top as well. Same thing here, this goes all the way up to the very top. And now we have that, and then here, we are going to place this here once again. You can grab your black stained glass, just like that. Now grab your bar, and what I use, I used um, red glazed terracotta. So place like, just like one like this, and we'll have kind of just like this, and then have the bars looking like that. So it's kind of just a caution thing, you can't go past that onto the elevator here. So it just looks like this here, and we can actually grab our chest, uh, go to our armor section, grab a golden chest plate, grab an anvil, and name it, name the chest plate, a chica named shirt and then the chest right here in the back bam so there we go we now have that in place and this little area is now all decorated and we have the elevator here that takes you up to the um prize counter which never actually works so let's go ahead and add, start adding some of the palm trees on these stairs here and some of the decorations down in here so let's go ahead and start doing that so what i used here i used fences um, I used jungle fences, and I used az azalea leaves. Not flowering azalea, just normal azalea, azalea leaves. So I went ahead and added them right here. So uh, start, like, go one, two, and on the third one, we're going to have one there. And then here, we're going to have two going one, and on the second one there. Do the exact same thing here, mirroring, on, mirroring it on this side. Uh, we can get rid of that. And right here like that we can get rid of that one glass and that one glass so let's go ahead and add in these trees now all right so raise all of these up by one more so they are they are going to be three blocks tall and then place one two one two three one two three on this side one two wait two three and one two three so that's the max height we can actually grab our sea lanterns for light, place one sea lantern on top of them, and we will add the bushes all around them as the leaves. So I'm not going to place them randomly, you can, you're going to see how I actually make them. So place one on the top, and starting out like this. And there we go, that is our palm tree. No, I'm just kidding. So we're going to have them going, I'd say one, and then one, two, and then one, and one, two, uh, one, one, two, and we'll have like around the edges too, one, one, two. Add all around the edges, kind of looking like that. Kind of, uh, it's, it's a pretty simple palm tree. I mean, they're not really that big of palm trees, so I'm gonna keep it like that. Then same thing on this side. We'll do the exact same thing. And go one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. 
one, one, two, and then all around the edges there, looking just like that. Now do the exact same thing here. Do, do the exact same thing with all of the palm trees. So uh, do do exactly what we just did with those two palm trees on these two palm trees, and I'll see you in just one second. All right, there we go. We now have all of the four palm trees in now. Looking, it's starting to look a lot nicer. Besides just bland and boring nothingness. So here we're going to add sea lanterns here. So up here there's a big like neon sign that goes all the way across. Except there's like two long neon signs that go all the way across. So here we're going to go two blocks down and place one, two, three layers. So here, this is one block. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23. It is 23 blocks wide in all. And just go and just fill all of this in. This is going to be the first neon sign. And then once you have done that, have a one block space there. And then just go ahead and fill all fill the rest of this in all the way to the very back of this wall over here. There we go, we now have this, these neon signs all here. And actually, one thing I forgot to add in the elevators. There are like some, like, um, here, so here, I'll explain it. So grab your, um, birch button and spruce button. So there are like some weird neon lights that go all the way around. So what I use, I just use buttons as like the lights. So just put them both in a zigzag pattern. Your birch button and spruce button. On that side, same thing on this side here. looking just like that. There we go, we now have this, so let's add the photo booths in here. So, grab your light blue concrete, your cyan carpet, your warped sign, your sea lanterns, your crimson trap door, polished and in sight, and a painting. This is what you are going to need to make these. So we are going to start them like right about here. So we'll have the first one, let's see. We'll have it like right here. There's going to be another one here. It's going to be kind of um, in a zigzag pattern. It's going to kind of look like this. And then we'll have that right there in the center. So it's going to look like this. So there's going to be four photo booths. You can add the floors in here. You can raise these up by two more blocks. One and then two. On this third block, you can add the roof in here. And then now we can add the one sea lantern on each side. With the carpet all the way across the top. And with this, we can just do this and type photo booth. On that side, this side, photo booth. This side here, photo booth. And, oh, wait. And this side here, photo booth. And then now we can just add the trapdoor there and the painting. So this is where you step in to actually take a picture. There's also a hiding hiding spot that you can hide in. Oh, and also, um, one thing we are going to add real quick. So just finish adding all of this. Grab your yellow banners. There is a lightning bolt on this side that I'm just, I use as yellow banners. So we're just going to add that on both sides. So there we go. We now have the four little photo booths up here. Which looks pretty fancy. There are a couple little like um, neon things over here. So we're just going to grab red. We'll grab um, we'll grab red and white and mainly, mainly just use like red and white. So we'll have like one. There's like one, two, three kind of. Or one, two, three. Or I know I think they're all like facing this way. So we'll do that. And we'll add like that on top of it. So it just look it looks like this. So now let's add some of the details down here. So go ahead and you can grab your black glass. And we are just going to go around and place these in. We'll actually place them in there, so we'll have some room there. Um, we will grab our dark oak leaves. Let's grab our wool, our red wool, and let's grab our blue wool. Our uh, crimson fence gates, our glass panes, and our item frames. So 
let's place one there and one there. Actually, one there, one right there, and one right there. Actually, wait, one and one, we'll have them there. We will have the fence gate there, and the fence gate there. The item frame going around like that, and the glass just like that. So there we go, we have that, and we can add some of the bushes just here in the back. It doesn't have to be exactly like this, you can place them however you want. And we will add some sea lanterns under them so we get some light beneath them. And we'll add like one, one there, and we will place a light gray carpet there just to give it some light. We'll do the same thing on this side, so we're going to grab our glass, go all the way back there, so go two blocks outward, like that. Same thing here, go up and all the way out. We can then place, uh, we'll have one, two, and let's place one more, which we'll have as pink, like right there. Um, gate, we'll have a gate right here, and a gate there. We will then get our item frame, place these all the way around. With the glass inside. And with our dark oak leaves, we're just going to add some leaves just around the place. It doesn't, once again, it doesn't have to be exactly how I'm doing it, but I'm just going to place them. Just kind of like this, and then we'll have the sea lanterns under them, just like in the corners. Same thing here, we'll have sea lanterns under them. And maybe one more right here. And then we'll have uh, just one here that we will cover with light gray carpet. And there we go, we now have this side here all decorated. This side here all decorated. And we have all of this stuff all up here. With the palm trees, we have the statue, all the other decorations around it. This side and this side over here, along with that little small back room over there. So I'd say we go ahead and let's start working on this, uh, the Glamrock Gifts right here. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and add some of the lights in here. So grab your deep slate tile stairs, your blackstone stairs, sea lanterns, and glowstone for the lights we are going to add. So let's, um, start, let's add one upside down stair there, and a sea lantern there, and then add the, um, oh, not blackstone, the deep slate tile stairs there. So there's one light that is right here. We'll go one, two, three, four, five blocks over. On the sixth block, we'll place another stair, the sea lantern, and place that there. So we got two lights now. Um, here, let's play, let's see, here, let's go one, oh wait, sorry, wrong stairs, I keep using the, using the wrong stairs. Here, let's go one, two, three, have a, um, let's move it over one so we have room for the, that little roof up there. Sea lantern there. Move it over and have a sea lantern there. So it's the exact same everywhere else. Now we're going to place one of the big lights in the middle. So here, we're going to go... Let's see. Let's go one, two, three. This is using the black zone. And here, we're, um, this has a... So four block space in the middle. So place four glow zone right there. So it should look... Just like this, it's a bit out of order, but you're honestly, you're never really going to notice it. So now, we have this whole place all now lit up. So let's go ahead and grab our, let's see here, get rid of this. And let's grab our blue terracotta. And let's place one of these pathways along here. So go to the stairs and place one, two, three, four. Go one down, place one, two, three, four. Then let's place, um, go down one more and place another four. And one, two, three, like that. Um, and then starting here, let's go one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. So it's three there. Um, I'm kind of I'm just guessing here again. Let's go... Let's see. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's add another three there. Here, let's bring this around. Kind of like that. One, two, three, four. Maybe like something like that. Um... Bring this out one more. Um, maybe something, so, something around like this, and then maybe something like that. And let's go ahead. Let's get rid of like maybe those two there, and maybe one there. So it's kind of like that. Uh, not. I don't exactly remember how I exactly did it, but that's how I'm gonna do it. So now grab your light blue concrete. Let's grab our. Hmm. 
just use our prismarine walls and grab our light gray carpet and our birch sign. So here we are going to go two blocks out and go one, two, three, four, five. These two blocks you can go all the way across. And you can bring two more blocks out. You can place one there and block there. So here we're going to have, let's see, one, two, maybe a wall, one, two, wall, one, two, wall, one, two. So kind of like that, raise these walls up and raise these car this carpet all the way to the top. And you can place like a carpet there as more shelving. So it kind of looks like this. And here you can actually grab your black concrete. Since there's no nothing behind it, we can add uh, black concrete behind that. And if we don't have anything behind this, we can go ahead and add black car black concrete behind this too. There we go. So this is going to be the shelving where some of the stuff sits. So let's actually name it. So here we are going to have um, Chica, where all the Chica plushies will go. So just name it Chica. Here we'll have Monty. Name this Monty. And then here we'll have, let's say, we'll have Freddy here. Freddy. And here we'll have Roxy. Alright, there we go. Now let's just name them the right colors. So grab, let's grab our lime dye. Um, let's grab our pink dye. Orange dye and purple dye. Um, dye them all the colors. So Chica is pink, Monty green, Freddy orange, Roxy purple. Grab our glowing sack and make them glow. There we go. Now let's add this uh, Monty pixel art right here. So grab our, let's grab our yellow concrete, green concrete, black concrete, and purple concrete. So here we're gonna go one, two, and then one, two, three, like that. Two there black right, right there and one purple there so we'll have it looking just like just like this it's supposed to like look like monty now let's grab our item frames and our eggs so i use the spawn eggs as the plushies so chica will be the axolotl freddy will be the tropical fish roxy will be the shulker and Monty will be the... Let's use the slime. Now, obviously, do not actually spawn these. Otherwise, you will have mobs all around your pizza plex. So, do not do that. Add the item frames in. We can add these in. Here is Freddy. Monty. Uh, yep, and just like that. Give me a second. No, okay. Let's just not talk about that. Don't talk about that. There's Monty and Chica's. There we go. So now we have all of this here, and this doesn't really have anything, so I'm just going to leave that blank. So now let's go ahead and grab our um, light blue con actually light blue concrete, and let's place this little um, Mr. Hippo thing that's right here. So like, let's go one, two, three. Um, you know, you know more than I think about it, let's move this back by one, so it looks more like that. Maybe you move this up. So it's kind of like that. Uh, bring this out by one more and raise this up by two. Like this. Grab our item frames again. And our gray carpet. Let's just have... Um, these aren't actually there, so I'm just... I, I think they're there. I'm not really sure. So to do this as like handles, let's grab our chest. Anvil. And purple dye as the Mr. Hippo fridge magnet. So Mr. Hippo. Hip Hippo fridge magnet. Yep. There we go. Put the chest right there, and there we go. Now there are there is a um sun there is a sun and moon plushie. So what I use to actually lay the lay the plushies down, I use candles. So let's grab our yellow candle and blue candle. We're gonna have, there's sun on this side and moon on this side. And I just light it up with flint and steel. Because it also helps with the lighting. So there we go, we now have that. And let's grab our carpet. And here, let's lay, lay the gray carpet on top. Let's um, grab our item frames again. Put these just kind of in like, uh, I'm gonna lay them all out right here. So we'll have them like that. And then we'll go ahead 
I think there's like, I think there's two. Um, uh, you know what, we'll keep it as three. So let's grab our t-shirts now. We'll get this, 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 just all, all, all of the different types of um, chest plates. Chainmail. Um, we'll stick with two, oh, whoops. And we'll just place these just in, you know what, three. And we'll just get rid of some because they're not all there and kind of just place them around. So they're actually, wait, there is no item permit there. So we'll have it just kind of like that. Let's grab our signs and have this say T-shirts. There we go. So it looks like that. So there we go. We got some T-shirts that you can buy here. Let's get some, so let's grab our bars and grab our shulker boxes. Let's grab our green and our light blue because there are like little um, things that hold like a ton of like um, balls that you can buy. So what I use, I use shulker boxes and I also use, um, so place the blue there and we'll have a green one right, like right here. So right there, and then we'll have a green run right there. Let's grab our dye. Let's grab our green, green dye, and our light blue dye. And here we'll place all of the green. And here we'll place all of the light blue. So there we go. We got those in. Now let's add some other, some other stuff over here. So let's add, here, let's add, okay. So let's grab our yellow terracotta. There's going to be a ATM here. Item frame glass and birch sign and let's grab a button two there drop it on top ATM and our button on the side so there we go now let's add this little desk area that is here so grab our magenta concrete gray carpet and our skulls we are going to place one two three four We'll have two, actually, you know what? Let's place five. Two skulls right there. The, oops, the gray carpet there. And let's grab our trap doors. We're going to place like a little line. So, let's do one. We'll have one, two, three. Here we'll have one, two, um, three, and one around the edge. So there, you walk in and you're able to come up to the line to buy your items. Now let's go ahead and add um, some balloons. So grab granite wall, our bars, and let's grab um, let's grab our lime concrete and blue 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 concrete. And actually, let's do no. Hold on, we'll stick with concrete. We can use bowl. We, you can use bowl if you want to. But here, um, let's place one there and like one there. We'll have two bars going up, and then the balloon. One bar going up and a balloon like that. Now there's another hideout thing here, so let's grab our red bowl, our glass pane, fence gates, and our item frame. And place it like right here. Oops. There we go. So we now have that in, and I believe, no, there's a couple other shelvings we have to add. So let's grab our oak planks. And our spruce trap door. So like right here, we're gonna add some shelving. So two blocks high, we'll place one, two, and let's place, let's grab our slabs, our oak slabs, the not petrified oak. Regular oak, oak slabs, place two on top, and trap doors on top, so it looks like that. So we have some shelving, and we'll place the other one like right here, with, so there is, two shelving there, and same thing on the side, two shelving there, and I think we will just stick with that as some of these shelving. We can probably grab here, it depends, if we are able to fit them, we are not, so we are not going to add that, and I believe that is this whole area now down here, all decorated, so let's go ahead and I believe, no, there actually is a Freddy logo right here, so let's grab our black, I think there is a Freddy logo. So let's grab our black concrete and go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It is gonna touch the top, but that is fine. And let's just do something like that as a Freddy logo. So there we go, we now have that there. And now I think this is all fully decorated down here. So this is the little gift shop 
that the, uh, the first floor of the Glamrock Gifts. So now let's move on up here, and there is some pixel art that we are going to do here, so let's go ahead and do that now. Alright, so go ahead and grab your light blue, yellow, orange, white, black, and blue concrete powder that we are going to use as the sunny drop candy and the moon drop candy advertisement posters. So here we are going to have these start at one block, and we are going to, whoops, and we are going to raise it up so it is one block away from the top, so right there. And the moon drop will start with all black, and it's going to do the exact same thing, starting right there, and going one block away from the very top. So here, let's go our orange and place one, two, three, one up, and one there. Let's go one more up, and one in the corner. Um, here, let's grab our yellow and go one, two, one, two, like that, and place one there. So that is the sunny drop candy poster, and now for the moon drop, we are going to go one, two, one, one across like that. We're going to go two upward, and two across, and then two up like that. Then grab our blue, we're going to place one there, one there, and like one, uh, I don't know, like right there, maybe. And then, let's put our yellow right there, and one in the corner, right up there. So there we go, we now have the moon drop candy poster and the sun drop candy poster. So now let's move on into the second story of the Glamrock Gifts. Obviously, starting out, we are going to add the lights. So grab our sea lanterns, our bars, our polished, our, sorry, our black stone stairs, and our glowstone. So, let's, first off, let's add, oh wait, there's one thing we need to add. With the pink stained glass, let's add these here, as also the neon lights. I'm just going to do the same thing, and like, same thing, this is actually not a neon light, is it? Mm, honestly, I'm, I'm just gonna do it anyway. Let's add our pink glass there. I know it's magenta, but I'm gonna use pink. And then have this just going all the way up to the top. There we go, so we now have that. And now let's add the lights, because it is dark. So let's add one, like, right here. It, it is, it's gonna be up against the glass, but that's fine. So we'll add one there. Let's add, like, one here. Two. So it's like, it's starting two blocks away from this corner, so one, two, and then the bars going two blocks down. And let's add one right here in the corner, so like one, two blocks out from there. Also going two blocks down, like this. And let's add another one, like right here. So like, from this corner here, go one, two, three, and we'll start it right there. And go two blocks down, so it's kind of looking like this. And then we'll place one more, like right... Let's place one more, like, right here. So one, two, and then one there. And now let's add this light here. So let's make it so it's like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two. And kind of like this, so it's looking like this, exactly. And then the four glowstone just right in the middle. So there we go, we now have this all lit up here. Now let's start adding some of the decorations. Where do we start? You know what, let's just, let's start first of all by adding this door in. Let's go here and add the door right there. And let's go ahead and let's start working on this right here. So I don't think there's much of anything. So grab our item frames. Let's grab our candles as some of the action figures that I'm going to use. So there's Monty, there, there's Monty, Freddy, Roxy, and Chica. Let's grab our brown carpet. One, two, three, four. Let's do, do you like that. Place the item frames all there. Let's, put, let's just place these random. Do like Monty, Monty there, Monty there. Freddy, Fr Freddy, Roxy, Roxy, Chica. One of Chica. I don't know why. Uh, oh wait, no, we still need the item frames. My bad. Um, hold on. There we go. Okay. So then place the item frames going all the way up and let's grab our die. We're going to use these as some of the magnets. So this is Monty, this is Roxy, Freddy, and Chica. Now just place these once again randomly. Uh, it doesn't have to be exactly, but there we go. We now have all of the fridge magnets, or all of just the magnets. Let's grab our birch sign and place these across. Let's say action right there, and then figures. Here we will say just, um, I don't, I don't want to say fridge magnets, but they're basically magnets, so let's just say fridge mag magnets. Actually, those just look like it says action figure fridge magnets. Hold on, get rid of this. Let's say just action 
figures there, two space there, and mag magnets. That's correct. And let's just make them glow. So grab our glow glowing sack and just do that. So there we go. We now have that in. And let's add let's add some other stuff here. So let's go. Uh, there's a Freddy Fazbear pixel art here. So we're gonna grab our red concrete, or let's grab our red terracotta. Our let's see. Go back to terracotta. There's some gray in it, so I'm going to grab. Let's grab our light gray. Um, go back to red. I think we're. Well, let's just stick with this for now. So right here, we'll have it go. So just place it all the way so it's like two blocks away. And have it go up like one block away from the top. So you have like a one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's like six by six, six by six cube. And now we're just gonna actually okay. So the Freddy figure is actually gonna ma be made out of the red concrete. So right here, just replace it with the red terracotta. And now let's just try and make a very simple Freddy. Um. I have no clue on how this is gonna work. Um, I, uh, uh, oh, what is this? What is this? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna stick with this. It's probably just, that's probably the closest thing I could get, so I'm just gonna stick with that. Um, it does not, that does not look good. Let's add some extra red concrete around, kind of spice it up, but actually, that's kind of making it worse. Um, Something kind of like this. Maybe, okay, I don't like that terracotta at all. Um, there's pink terracotta. We could probably, yeah, let's use pink terracotta instead. We'll use pink terracotta and just kind of do something like that. That is not a very good Freddy pixel art, but we're just gonna stick with it. Um, now let's grab our, let's see. Um, you know what, let's add this little uh, other thing here. This little um, area, this little this desk. So let's go two blocks out with that. One, two, three, four, five. Our carpet all across the top and our two skulls right there. Let's grab our trap doors and place trap doors right here. One, two. We'll have one, two, and. Oh, hold on, wait, 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 wait. One, two. Maybe not there. Okay, you know what? You know what? Um, one, two, three. You know what? Let's make it six blocks out. And then add the skull right here. Now we can do this. So we'll add trapdoors there. There. And let's make it there. So there we go. We now have three lines to enter. Let's grab our carpet. Our gray carpet. And let's grab our string. So there's going. there is a bunch of... Um, there is this, like... Uh, I don't know if it's a table, but I'm just gonna have this going all the way to the end. It's more of, it's kind of more of a table that holds some more plushies. So I'm just gonna use gray carpet as this table here. So we're gonna do that. And now let's grab, let's see, let's grab our oak planks, our oak slabs again, and our spruce trap doors. So let's place some of them, um, let's go one, let's go one here. And we'll have some more of this shelving here. Same thing on this side. Like that. Here, um, there is, like, uh, kind of a roundish table that has a bunch of, like, chica items on it. So, what I originally used, um, I placed one, I think it's, like, right there. And have stairs going all the way around like this. So, it looks something like this. And then I had brown carpet. And I just had a shulker box that is pink colored, so it looks like it's from Chica. And grab our sign, let's grab our birch sign, and right like here, like, right there, let's say Chica items. Uh, oops, hold on. Chica items. There we go. Grab our, let's grab our pink dye and our glowing sack, and just make that glow. So there we go, and now let's just grab a bunch of pink things. So like, uh, the action figures has candles, the magnets as dye, um, the banners as like the keychains, and what else is there? Oh, the eggs as the actual plushies. And just place a bunch of these in there. Have it kind of just in random order, and some extra plushies, so we'll have it kind of like that. 
So there we go, we now have a bunch of cheek items there. And let's see, what else could we add? Um, I think there are a couple, uh, there's, there's something over here. So grab our magenta concrete again. And let's grab our signs, birch signs, and our item frames. I think there's, a, like, um, shelving that has a bunch of, like, of the daycare attendant stuff. So here, I'm just gonna have a sign that here, here that says daycare attendant plushies. Like that. And we'll make it glow. We'll make it glow blue. As so it, like, represents the moon. Kind of hard, kind of hard to read, but it's fine. Our item frames there. Let's grab the eggs. So this is going to be the sun plush. Or actually, wait. Sun is mostly, like, orange and yellow. This is probably the best thing. Um... You know, yeah, let's use this. Blaze as the sun, and as moon, we use a dolphin. So, just place, like, sun and moon just looking like that. Unless there's another egg that kind of looks better for moon. Oh, yeah, the squid. Squid looks... Actually, no, moon is more blue and white, so yeah, we're gonna stick with that. And then on the back side... Oh, hold on. We need our item frames again. On the back side, there are some t-shirts that we are just going to add, so wrap this sign around. And here, t-shirts. There we go. Oops. And we'll place more item frames. That's gonna have a bunch of t-shirts. So here, netherite, leather, all, all the chest plates again. And just kind of place these just around. So there we go, we now have a bunch of t-shirts there. Um, it's starting to starting to look better. Um, there's a couple things that we need to add. I think there is a I there was something here. I added a hanging guitar. So let's grab our orange concrete. Let's grab our polished blackstone slab and our polished blackstone button. So here we'll have it like right here, maybe like two blocks down and like one there. Uh, here let's start out by like one, two, three, like that. Uh, we need our black concrete. Like one, two, and for our slabs we'll place them across like that. And... Actually, let's move this one more over. It's gonna be kind of in the way of the um, light, but that's fine. So like that, and then we'll have like a button like right here. And this is also this hanging guitar. I got this from. This is from Cup of Tea. This is Cup of Tea's hanging guitar, and that is the only actual thing I added. That is the only actual Cup of Tea thing that was in the entire Glamrock gifts. So we're just gonna keep that there, and I believe that is probably now this whole room up here all decorated. So, I believe we now have, coming out here, there's nothing else to add out here. Oh wait, there's one thing we missed. One thing we missed. Grab our black concrete. There's a Freddy logo here, so let's add one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And just have a small Freddy logo here, we do not need that, so kind of looking like that. And there we go, we now have this whole room, it is all finished. And same with the second story of the Glamrock Gifts. Yes, this is kind of poking out, but it's, it's fine. I don't think there really is any way to cover it up unless you do, like, something that looks like this, which will kind of ruin it a bit. So I'm just, for, just to keep it, I'm just going to have it looking like that. It's, it's fine. So we now have this, so let's add a couple stuff on the outside of the Glamour Gifts. Alright, so go ahead and grab your blue stained glass, purple, and pink stained glass. We are going to place the Glamrock Gifts sign out of pixel art here. So let's go one like one block up and place blue there and blue there. And we'll we will place one, two, three, like this at an angle. Going up, we one more. Like that. We'll have two blue there. We'll then add blue there. And with the pink, we'll have pink there. We will have purple on the top and two on the sides. And then two on the bottom. I, I think this was... I, I don't know if this was from Cup of Tea or not. So, that is that uh, Glamrock Gifts neon sign. And let's grab our... So, we're going to make this Chica pixel art. So, I, I'm i not going to have enough room to make the actual Freddy pixel art that is on the side. This is, It's two blocks wide. There's no way I'm going to be able to actually fit that unless I probably move it over one more. Which I could do, but I'm going to stick with this for right now. Otherwise, it could mess some things up. So I'm going to just make the actual Chica pixel art. So let's go ahead and grab our, we are going to need orange concrete, we're going to need white concrete, green concrete, light gray concrete, we're going to need our purple concrete, 
magenta concrete, pink concrete. We are going to need our regular gray concrete and I believe our cyan concrete. So let's start down here from one block above. Let's place orange across as this. Two blocks up of green and two blocks up of light gray. Then two blocks up of white. Then grab your purple. We're going to place purple like this. Keep your magenta just like that. We are then going to place one gray. Then place one, two, one, two as you zigzag. We'll have one white there. We'll have two pink going upward. Then we'll add one cyan right here. Skipping all of this right here, we're going to add one pink. Then we're going to add two orange with our white. Let's go one, two, three, four. As like that. Our light gray concrete and our pink concrete looking like this and I believe one more right there. So this is supposed to look like um, Glamrock Chica. I, I think this might have also, th this I think was from Cup of Tea EXE, just to let you know, this Chica pixel art. Obviously I've shrunken it down more, it's not the exact same because it's shrunken, but I believe this is from Cup of Tea EXE. This is not my pixel art that I have created. I know there are quite, there's definitely quite a few things that are, that I have not created when I originally built the entrance, but we have this now. So now, that is all of the Glamrock Gifts and the second story of the Glamrock Gifts. So now let's move on to the customer service and the fast pad. Alright, so we're going to start off in the, we're going to continue in the customer service area. So first of all, you can place a door right here in the back, so we can cover that up right there. And let's start adding the actual main desk here. So let's add the desk like 1, 2, 3, 4 back like this. Let's actually make it so it's like right there. And we'll add a chair, chair, and ch let's have let's just have two chairs for now. One, two, and act okay. Actually, real quick, this is one block up, so we'll bring it all the way back to out there. We will have a because we're going to have string here, and this is going to be the desk. And we will have a chair and a chair there. And here we're going to have carpet. So this is going to go out. This is going to go one, two, three, four, like this, and go all the way back as a red carpet. I am actually going to go ahead and use red concrete powder because I think the powder it looks really good as a actual carpet. And now with our crimson trap trap doors, actually wait no, we are going to need warped trap doors, and we are going to place it like right here. So it's going to start out here, and I think go down this way, and I think it should come out like right about maybe here. So actually, hold on. I've done that way, and like that, so now, hold on, processing, there we go, so now you can walk in, and go up to the desk, we should, we actually, I don't believe there are any screens here, actually no, there is, there is, so grab our, let's grab our wither skulls, and we will have a skull there, and there, as the actual monitors, and there's, a, there's the yellow ATM back here, which always, which um, you put the Mr. Hippo fridge magnet on. So of course we have to add that in. And the button. Alright, two up. Oh wait, we need the glass as well. Item frame, glass, carpet, sign, ATM, and the button on the side. So this is the ATM that you always put the actual um, Mr. Hippo fridge magnet on. This, once again, is obviously not exactly accurate in-game, but I, I have tried and it, 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 it works, it works. So let's grab our concrete now. So we are going to get our lime concrete, our purple concrete, orange concrete, and white concrete. Actually, no, pink, pink concrete. Hold on, actually, since it is more darker, we're gonna have green. So we need, we, these are like the animatronic logos here, the an, different um, actual logos in their poses. So there's the Chica one here, Freddy's actually red, we need red. So Freddy there, Roxy, and Monty. It's supposed to be like them, like um, like the normal security breach logo, like Freddy with the actual security breach logo, but that's for all of them. I just put them as both, just like that. I mean, at worst, that's fine. So let's grab our signs, our birch signs now and place this across the top, and right here, let's say customer, and one, and one more, and sir, wait, service, and then two more there. Now just grab our glowing sack, and let's grab white. Using white, let's make them white, and 
make them glow. It's a bit difficult to see, but it, it works, it works. Now, let's grab our dirt we are going to add, or our chorus dirt. We're going to add some planters around. Dark oak leaves. Our trap doors. Let's add one right here. Two. Two. Oh. And there is a, another one of these little hideout carts. Let's grab our fences, item frames, our glass, and place it like right let's place it like right here maybe right here or actually we can actually let's let's move this back real quick just move it back by one more and let's have it like right here in the corner and then the red one right here red skate item frames all around and the glass there now we have that and i believe we're gonna need this again so i keep getting rid of all my stuff so let's place it like right around here and do something like this, there's another bush there. I know there are a couple neon signs out of, I think, banners, or not, well, not actually out of banners, but there's a couple, like, neon signs. I don't exactly remember where they were, but I'm just gonna place one, like, right here. I'm just gonna have it, like, right there. I don't believe, I'm not sure if it was exactly there, but that's where I'm going to have it. So now, we're going to make this little other, um, the scroller rental desk, as that's what I call it of our skulls and our white concrete we're going to have the desk come out right here one two three four on the top there and let's put one two there let's grab our slabs and our doors place one there and one there and the chairs there and let's here there is a fray logo here that we are going to add so we're going to make it Let's make it three blocks. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's a bit cursed, but it works, and you cannot see it from the outside, which is good. So there we go. We just need to add some of these actual like strollers in here. So go inside of this, and let's grab different colored bowls. So let's grab uh, red, cyan, magenta, and blue. We'll grab our glass, our fence gates, and our item frames. Let's have a red here, we'll have cyan, magenta, and blue. Like, like that. A uh, gate there, a gate there, a gate there maybe, and a gate there. And now, oops, wrong place. And now just place the item frames. Just around. And just place the glass inside now. And there we go, we now have all of those little strollers that are inside. So now we have all of this here, we're going to move on down here. So you can go ahead and grab our light blue, yellow, and orange. We're going to raise these up by two more on all of these. So raise all both of these up by two. Alright, so there we go, we now have all of that raised up. So let's grab our item frames and our gray carpet. And here we're going to place all item frames all around here. So these item frames are going to go all on the colored ones, except for these, because these are pillars. So it's going to go over all of them, and you're going to place all these item frames all the way around. And the, these are going to go all the way around here, all on these colored ones. And you're going to place the carpet at an angle, all like this. Now, it is going to take some time to do all of this, like doing this for all of these like lockers all, all the way around. But this is what it should look like on all of the um, light blue, yellow, and orange. So just do that on all of these real quick, and I'll be right back. Alright, there we go. We've gotten all of these placed in. That, this is all you have to do, is just place all of these. These are supposed to represent the handles on all of the lockers. It definitely does take some time to do, I'll admit that. But once you've gotten that, we're going to add a couple last decorations in here. So start from this side right here and go two blocks out from this orange and place one block there, or of the chorus dirt. We're going to add another little planter here. And two blocks upward. And here we're going to add some of the actual like um, benches. So I just used um, dark prismarine. And then we can place one, one pillar in the middle of all that going up and then one, two, three on this side, one, two, three on this side. And another planter right here. And then 
one of the little hideout things that is right here. I'm just going all the way around. And there we go. So now that we have all of that, there are some more uh, posters or some neon signs that go all the way around. So once again, I just use sea lantern. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, like that. One, two, three, four, five, and like one, two, three, four, five, skipping one. I'll have one, two, I don't think there's this many, so I'm actually, hold on, I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm, I'm going to place it like right in the middle, so like one, two, three, four, five, like that. One, two, three, four, five, and then like there, and then one, two, three, four, five, and one more, one, two, three, four, five. So there are a bunch of those uh, little advertisement posters that of uh, like Monty Golf, Mazer Size, Roxy Raceway, Faster Blast, all the way around. So I just use this Sea Lantern, so that is what I'm going to keep. And I believe that is all of the part, the customer service, all complete, all fully decorated. So now let's move back here. We're going to start decorating this office here. So obviously, you can grab this door. We're going to place the door right there. And let's add a couple more decorations here. So there are some storage here that I just used as chests. I just placed random chests here. It does not have to be like that. So that's what I did. Kind of there. Um, let's see. There is a trash can here. So, oops, hold on. So grab your brown terracotta. Actually, no, orange terracotta. Our gray carpet and our birch sign. And we're going to place a Freddy trash can that is right here. Bam. Like that. Now, let's move on to the actual security office itself. Alright, so we are going to start decorating in here. So grab all of these items that you see in my inventory. And we are going to start with the polished endosite stairs and make the desk where the secure where um you first enter. So we're going to make this desk and for the actual monitors. I'm going to use stairs instead of skulls for this, because I want to make them actually have, like, screens on them. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that for now, and leave it actually, let's move it over, just one, one side. So have it right here, and then place the stairs there. Now I have the item frames sitting there, and let's have, um, there's a chair that you can place right there. And here, there is a sink right here with a trip wire. So do that. Um, grab, let's grab our chest. We're gonna need another anvil. And grab a pickaxe. Because when there is a chest in here that when you open it up, it is a screwdriver. So as a pickaxe, I'm going to grab the a screw. I'm gonna make it screwdriver. So that is the thing they open to use the vent, but since it's already there, there is no need to do that. Um, I don't believe there is any other actual chest in Oh wait, no, there is one more. And it is right there. This is- there is a chica- or sorry, a, um, cupcake pinata. So I just grab a normal cake, and I rename it, to a cupcake pinata. There we go, and then just put that in the chest there. So there we go, we have that now. A couple other things that we need to do. There is some shelving here that I'm going to use as... I'm going to get string, and I'm going to get light gray carpet, and place one, two, three sets of the um, actual shelving there. And there's a bunch of trash around, so what I use, I grab, I believe it is coral, I just grab dead coral, it, it doesn't, uh, make it kind of so it's like some of the coral that's kind of low to the ground, like this. And I just place this around in just some areas, not a ton of areas, but as, like, representing as if it's, it's like, as if it's, like, trash in the room. So, basically, this is basically what the room looks like. I mean, there's nothing really much else going on here. I'm sure I'm missing a couple things, but for now, this is what we're just gonna have the room as. Oh, wait, no. We have to add the lights in here. So grab our, your sea lanterns and trap doors. We're gonna have two sea lanterns, bam, right there. And two sea lanterns, bam, right there. So there we go, now we have the actual lighting in. So this is what it is going to look like. And this is already all decorated here. And now, we can move up onto the fast pad kitchen. Since we have finished that, we're gonna start on the fast pad kitchen. So here, let's grab some doors. So we are going to place the warped door right there, that leads in, and place this door right here, that leads into the kitchen. So it should just look like this, and now let's start decorating here. So there is a, another trash can here. So I'm going to grab gray con concrete and gray, actually, yeah, gray concrete and gray carpet and a birch sign. 
And there's going to be a track. Oh, wait, no. Black carpet, actually. And there's going to be a sign that says trash on actually both sides. So it is a trash can, and we don't need that. No, I'm just kidding. So there we go, we got that. And there's a couple other um, storage here, so we're just going to add this. Like, it's kind of like that, some random storage. Um, we can probably place two more like that. So looking like that. Now I'll start to get the actual kitchen in. So let's grab our stairs. Grab your polished and insight stairs. Grab your ice. Grab a water bottle. And a gray carpet. And an item frame. Then let's get a iron, iron block. A dispenser, a iron door, and a lever. So we're going to place the fridge, there's going to be a fridge right here, and have it right there with the lever on the side, and we can go ahead and place white carpet right on the top. So it should look like that. And now there, um, there's some shelving that goes along about like three blocks. Um, these are supposed to be like water machines um, where you get like water, uh, your water from so we'll have this as the actual water machines There is a cauldron. Let's grab a cauldron a trip wire and a water bucket. There's going to be a sink right here um, There is a table that is in the middle so we'll grab your bar gray carpet and your string we're gonna place it right we'll place it right here and go out to here and then two string in the middle and your gray carpet like that. Now grab your chest, there's another present. I believe it is a Glamrock Chica plushie, so place the chest right there. And we're gonna grab another egg, this is gonna be the actual plush. Um, grab an anvil. And rename this to Glam Chica Plush. Bam. And just put it in the chest, and there you go. Now for the actual, like, ovens. So grab your glass furnace, grab an item frame, grab glass, grab your detector rail, and grab a fireplace. Or, I'm sorry, a campfire, not a fireplace, there's no such thing. And you are going to place fireplace, a, a, a campfire right there, and fix this up. And you're going to place the glass furnace right on top. Place the two item frames with the glass and the detector rails on top of both. So there, we actually have working ovens. So there, that is that, and I believe... Oh wait, let's actually, let's add some actual food into the fridge. So I'm just gonna grab just a bunch of, uh, random, random food. Does not have to be exactly like this. Just random food. And... There. And we'll just add just a random amount, um, cake, but maybe a ton of stuff, maybe some little stuff, like that, ton of, ton of potatoes. carrots maybe like a couple carrots and then like one raw flesh so there we have an actual working fridge and we can just place that back so there we go now that is the whole fast pack kitchen in so now let's actually finish off this fine let's actually finish off this um third episode of the tutorial by building or by decorating the whole fast pad all right so go ahead and grab all of these items that you see in my inventory And now we are going to start working on the actual main fast pad. So here we are going to go one, two, three, four until it is two blocks away. Actually, no, one block away. Using blue terracotta. No, yeah, this is blue terracotta. And we are going to place the oak fence going all the way up to the very top. Once, once again, just to let you know, this fast pad is not at all accurate. I mean, it mostly is, but this whole area over here is not even close to accurate in the end game. This is just how I, 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 this is how I did it, because I struggled with it a lot, and this is just what I did. And then using the chains and lanterns, we are going to place a chain there, with a lantern, and a lantern right there. This has some hanging light right there, 
So now, let's see. Grab, let's grab our, um, actually, no, no, no. We actually already have it. We have it. So let's grab our paintings. We are going to place a four painting. Actually, here. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of the chains. We are going to have a painting. One right there. And move, let's move a spot, and we'll have one right there. And here, we are going to grab our chains one more. And place one, two, and a lantern right there. Then with our slabs, grab our black carpet. We are going to place one there and one there. There's going to be a small seat that is right here. We are also going to need red carpet along with red slabs. And we are going to go like right here. Place three there with a red carpet. Oh, wrong thing. Red carpet, just like that. And let's place another one of these. Like one, two here, bar. And like we'll place a single seat. Actually, no, uh, at an angle. It's going to be a bit at an angle, which is fine. Another seat right here. And let's place, like, right about here, we'll place one, two, one, two. Like, a, a, du a double table that's just right here. And then we'll get another red table. And with our red slabs, let's place, like, one, two, three, four, like this. I think that ha we'll have enough room. So, like that. Let's go ahead and grab our chains again. We are going to need this. And, like, right up above here. So, let's place one, two, we'll place one there, and like, one, two there, so lantern, lantern, lantern there, and lantern there. It's gonna be a bit in the way, maybe we'll have it like right there. It's gonna be a bit in the way, but I think it looks nice, it looks nice. And then we'll have another one like right here, so like one, two, three, one, two, one. One, we'll have it like this, and a lantern. That is actually pretty, pretty low, so maybe not like that. So maybe looking like this. And now let's add the actual, like, desk area, or the actual check-in desk. So grab our, um, spruce planks and our gray carpet. We're gonna have, let's see, let's have it right around one, two, three, four, five, kind of like this. It's gonna be pretty tight corners, but we'll have it coming out like this. We will add, let's see, or should we, should we move this back? No, I think we'll have it, like, there. Let's grab our trap doors, our spruce trap doors, we'll place one right there to actually get in. And on this side as well, we'll place one there. Using our lanterns, let's place one, two, three, and maybe one, maybe, actually no, we have it one. And then the lanterns, three lanterns, like that. We will then get, um, let's grab our spruce points again, we're gonna place one, two, three, like that. We're gonna get our skulls as um, some of the actual, um, some of the screens that you can use, so it looks like that. And, hmm, there are a couple paintings, so let's grab paint a painting. And right here, I think it's like right here. So place a block there and have one there, and place a block there, we'll have one there. So it's kind of looking like that. There is a Fazpad logo that I'm going to add real quick, so let's grab glass. I have not made this before, so just to let you know, not exactly sure how it's going to look. So, um... Maybe just something simple like that. No, that, uh, no, 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 no. Maybe we'll have it like one, two, three, or one, two. Maybe something like that. I really, actually, you know what? We may honestly not even have enough room. So I think I'm just gonna stick without adding that, the actual logo. So we're just gonna stick with that. So let's go ahead and grab our doors, our crimson doors. We are, we can actually go ahead and let's replace this with actual wood. Let's get rid of that. And we'll have the doors right here as you enter in. Grab our stairs again, our wax cut copper stairs, our bars, and our gray carpet. Let's place it like two, let's place, um, there's a, there's a seating here, we'll place that there. And grab a end rod, I believe there's one of these, like, like that. And I believe it, it should look just like this. It's definitely a bit crammed. Actually, there's one thing we need to add. It's the glass pane that goes all the way around the fences here. So just follow along with all of the fences. And it should end up like right about here. Should we go out one more? Nah. We'll stick with this. You can't actually get out that way anyway. And that also way, you also can't hop up. Or never mind. 
but either way, it, it, it just looks nice. So I believe that is all of the fast pad. Now, complete. We now have the fast pad, the fast pad kitchen. And I believe, if I am correct, we have completely finished all of part three. And that is it for part three of this tutorial. I really liked making this video since I love adding all of the decorations. Part three was one of my favorite parts to build of the entrance. Now, we have one final video tutorial left for the entrance. That will be right after the West Arcade video, which will be at which we will be adding the roof. Then, once we have finished the entrance, we will start on the daycare next. But I hope that this video helped you guys out, and if so, give this video a like. And if you want to see more of these videos, then subscribe to my channel. Well, that's all for now, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. See ya.